Hello and welcome to clickcentral.com. In this video, I'm looking at um, bringing out expressions from a from a spreadsheet, from a workbook, or from any data source really, and then within Click, transforming those simple expressions um, and applying set analysis to each one and creating a whole larger list of expressions that have as of capabilities so point in time previous week previous month previous year it's going to bring together a lot of our videos i've done in the past and one of these is just you know loading up expressions into a data island and i've got a video for that if you click the link here that'll take you to that specialist video just for that um, the other one is the um, calendar with flags Again, a couple of videos on that. I'll pop a couple of links up here now to sort of take you to those two videos. And then this this sort of final video, if you'd like, is all part of a series, really. And this sort of brings it all together and allows you to load up expressions, but also then create multiple expressions, which will work with the Azov calendar. So let me just sort of explain what I'm sort of talking about. So here we have three expressions in the Excel workbook. I've got quantity sold, sales value, and average sales selling price. So there's only three, nice and easy to maintain. And if we go across to the end, we see the expression. So the first expression, yep, quantity sold, we're summing that up. Um, second one is total sales value, again, summing that up. This one's working slightly different. This one is referencing the two that went before to determine what the average selling price is so it's actually saying it's the sales value uh, times by the quantity sold which doesn't sound too right so i think it should really be divided by the quantity sold so we'll change that the idea around this is you don't have to change it twice if quantity sold has changed to something else for whatever reason you don't have to change it in this expression, in that expression. You do it once and it filters down to every other expression that references it. So that's very good for accuracy. But then the, the next problem will be, okay, this works great just for summing up, uh, but there's no sort of point in time. There's no as of analysis in there. So for those of you that seen the calendar with flags video, I use sort of flags within the calendar um, to create these as of um, variation. So if I look at this next tab, which is the as of tab, I can see the standard we, we put in the flag is this date. If it's yesterday, it's flag previous day minus one and so on. And There's all these different flags that I use to do the different sort of prior period comparisons. Now, we've got sort of three expressions there and there's a 22 here. So if we were to apply all these variations to the three well it's three times 23 which is going to be 69 so you potentially you've got 69 expressions that you're going to be working with now obviously expand that even further if you've got 50 expressions you know you could be hundreds and hundreds of expressions with all these different possible point in time calculations now you don't want to do that on the spreadsheet itself it's ideal just to keep it nice and simple and then forget let click the script do all the hard work and that is exactly what this video is about okay so moving to click view so what we're going to do is we're going to load up the data and put it into a set of data islands and it's this one uh, that we'll be sort of focusing on the all expressions and we can preview that so that's loading up from this uh, excel file but it's now how many rows have we got 66 rows. So it's, it's duplicated all those different expressions to be all the different, so if we can see label ID, there we go, label, what it's called. So it's some sales value, latest last week, month to date, all the different combinations of sales value, again, quantity salt, and the average sales price as well. So I'll just take you very briefly through what it's doing. The file will be on the community site. I'll post a link for that. And there's also a detailed explanation on my blog site, um, clickcentral.com, which I'll again put a link in the video for this. Um, but just to go through the script very quickly, what we do is we bring in the data from the various sort of sources here. Uh, we do a few extra little things as well. We sort of look down and say, well, okay, 
what flags are we using in the Azov table and that will limit the calendar just to those flags because the calendar can be very big but if you've seen it you'll know we bring in the table here of all the expressions I'll just bring in three rows and now what we need to do is work out how many times we need to replicate we have to loop through and work out how many times we need to change it we're going to cursor through the as of tab of the workbook so we're going to look at uh, the first row first and second third fourth we're going to look to see what needs to be changed bring out some basic information that we need from that table and then we're just going to start reloading this information and then replacing um, all the different bits and pieces we need to replace now what it's actually doing within the within the excel workbook is there is an as of text to replace so we've defined what that is as of text as of text okay so we come into the as of table and the text to replace is always as of text and then we set up the replacement set analysis so what it's going to do is going to go into that string look for that substring and replace it with what's in here and work through all the way through just know as well that on dollar expansion we i i change the dollar to a sort of an up Amphazine. I'm not sure what they call that exactly, but that stops it calculating when it loaded through and I just replaced that to a dollar within the script as well and that just, just makes it work okay. So we're doing that all the way through here. Now this is what's a little bit more complicated. Um, what we've got to do is we're going to create new IDs for each of these because each of these have to have a, a label ID that is um, distinct. So the as of will put a prefix onto that label ID, which is great. So we create the first two with a prefix, but now this one, we have to now put the prefix into here. So we have to go through, find out, and it could be many instances of, of different things, not just two, it could be several. We have to look for these expressions, find for this subtext, find that, then work out where to add in the extra, um, the suffix to the label ID, and do that repeatedly throughout so that is what we're going to do through here and that's you know it's a, it's a complicated bit of uh, script uh, i talked through it on my blog in detail but that is what it's doing here so it's looping through all those instances and making those changes and then finally we just we just sort of finished off the loop here and that's pretty much it we we do have a little bit of extra stuff here that we do with transformation that's just to get the tables how we want them but ultimately once we've got that core data in there that we can split it up and move it about as we want and then the end result is of course a very big table with lots of expressions so you can pick whatever expression you want and it will bring out if you were to reference it within your expression it will bring back that value which will give you the correct calculation to 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 display exactly what you want it to display so in this instance uh, this one here is that changing with it? No, it's not. That's been preset. So that one is is set up, you know, with an expression, solve quantity. Um, it's, it's it's picking it up. Let's go back in there. It's picking it up from that data island with the quantity sold. It's bringing back the expression, which has been evaluated with the dollar expansion, which is bringing back the result of forty four. Um, obviously, as well in there, which I'm not showing, which I can do very quickly. We grab this we have extra information like the actual label itself and we also have if we do have any in here uh, we could also have the help text error in expression that's not always a good sign is it I'll put a bracket back on that There we go. We're good. We don't have any help text on there, but the help text is defined here. So there's nothing in there. So, okay, a little bit of a quick run through. Hopefully, you find it useful. Like I say, I think it ties everything together. So those people that are following the videos, that have seen bringing in expressions into a data island, that have seen the power of the calendar with as of flags will now see it sort of all come together with this bit of script, which just sort of ties it all together and makes your expressions very manageable, but also then gives you um, all the different options and variations very easily to hand within the dashboard that you can apply different types of period-on-period -period comparison reporting.
thanks very much for for watching um love to hear your comments as always and um, i will see you again very soon